Real-time software has exploded over the last decade. Off the top of my head, I can think of Lumion, Enscape, Twinmotion, all gaining a lot of prominence. But our tried and true offline render engines have also integrated real-time tools. That said, this video is about why I think Unreal Engine rules over all those other software when it comes to real-time ArcVis. Now, I know a lot of you are going to disagree with me. It's probably along the lines of Unreal Engine is way too big, way too cumbersome, way too hard to learn, especially for what I need in real-time software. You are absolutely correct in this assertion. Oftentimes, simplicity and ease of use is exactly what makes a software so effective. That is the market that Lumion and Twinmotion and Enscape are certainly going for. But that is not what I'm talking about here. If you have watched much of this channel, you know that I have a certain philosophy about software. It is basically this. Ease of use is inversely related to the power of a program. In other words, the easier it is to learn, the less powerful it is. As software adds features and grows up, it gets harder for new users to just jump right into. But from watching this channel, you probably also know that I don't shy away from software, the powerful stuff, just because it is hard to learn initially. And that is the realm that Unreal Engine lives in. It is not easy to learn. It is also extremely powerful. It is so ridiculously powerful that it can absolutely be overwhelming. But it is also never going to leave you stranded. Again, like the video I made with 3ds Max, where I said the only limit to what you can create is probably your own imagination, the same thing goes for Unreal Engine. It's that powerful. But let's get into it and talk about the top six features that I think make Unreal Engine the ultimate software for real-time ArcViz. Stay tuned to the end to hear my whole case, and if you still disagree, just let me know in the comments, because I would love to know what solution you are using for real-time and why you love it. Okay, I almost forgot. Stay tuned until the very end, and I'll explain why. Even if you only want to do really simple things in VR or real-time, Unreal Engine is still an awesome option. Here's feature number one. Ever since Unreal Engine announced its pricing model that essentially made it free to use for ArcViz, it has been a very appealing option. It is not free because it is simple or not robust or lacking features. It is an incredibly powerful software used by millions of people around the world to create incredible professional work. This includes professional studios as well. The fact that it can be used for free in the ArcViz industry is quite remarkable. Therefore, it has been adopted pretty widely. Virtual reality. It is not alone in this ability to create VR experiences, but it is somewhat unique in how customizable that experience can be. Many VR software options made specifically for VR are a little bit of a one-trick pony. Oftentimes, that is exactly what is needed, so that is okay, of course. However, Unreal Engine offers something different that can take projects to an entirely different level, the power to customize. One key capability that it offers is the ability to add interaction. So, for example, you can interact with objects inside of a scene. You can create user interfaces inside of VR that allow users to interactively change materials and surfaces, change furniture and decor, change the lighting of the scene, turn lights on and off. You can pick things up and throw them. Once I needed to make a VR walkthrough of a bowling alley, so of course, I added interaction that made it possible to actually go bowling in VR. In a game engine like Unreal, with seemingly unlimited power, it is not so hard to do this, even for a non-programmer like myself. And this leads us to our next feature, Blueprints. Blueprints are what makes the magic happen in Unreal Engine. It also sets Unreal Engine apart from simpler VR and real-time solutions 
and even from other game engines where you might have to learn actual programming languages. If you are unfamiliar with Blueprints, it is the proprietary block coding built right into Unreal Engine. It gives you the power to add code, interactivity, and behaviors to any of your models within the engine. But you don't really need to be a programmer to use it. Even a dummy like myself, who only knows the basic principles of programming, has been able to make some pretty cool, custom, interactive, real-time projects using Blueprints. Honestly, Blueprints are what really puts Unreal Engine over the top when it comes to the power and capabilities of the software. Megascans. You probably know by now about the vast Megascans library, a collection of photo-scanned, highly realistic assets available for free within Unreal. Now, there are all sorts of assets that you can purchase for Unreal 2, a huge marketplace of them, but having a ton of super high quality ones built in is quite awesome. Megascans have extremely realistic objects, textures, and decals. Their integration is extremely streamlined too. For example, you can pick how detailed you need your models to be from low all the way up to nanite level, super high quality but without slowing down your scene, another awesome feature of Unreal Engine. Then simply import them and drag them into your scene. This humongous library of extremely high quality assets can quickly and easily enhance any scene. I will say that the downside of Megascans is that the collection is heavily weighted towards more natural objects and materials and not as much man-made, but the library is constantly growing and adding new things. It is amazing for building environments, I can tell you that much. Lumen. The holy grail of real-time software over the last several years seems to be real-time ray tracing. With the advent of RTX video cards and the advancements of game engine software, this is now achievable. However, Unreal Engine 5 has taken it a step further with the introduction of Lumen. Lumen is a proprietary method that estimates ray tracing quite well, but at much less cost. It is now possible to light your scene, even an interior scene, with a whole bunch of lights, and Lumen can give you a very quick and accurate estimation of the global illumination happening within the room. It is a fantastic solution for great looking scenes that need to run quickly, like an architectural walkthrough, for example. In my opinion, it is a big step up from having to light bake everything in order to get good lighting results. Path tracing. Lumen is great, but what if you don't want to estimate anything? What if you want full accuracy in all your lighting, like something a V-Ray rendering would give you? Well, Unreal Engine actually has that built in too with the path tracer. This requires a ray trace capable video card, but it can absolutely produce photorealistic results just like any other render engine. It comes at the cost of time. You can't exactly call the path tracing real time. It usually will refine for a few seconds or more depending on settings. But the fact that you can get a fully accurate rendering out of UE5 as well is awesome and it just adds to the versatility of the software. One great way to use the path tracer is to set up all your camera moves, depth of field, animation, etc. in real time, then export the animation using the path tracer. This gives the best of both worlds where you get real time feedback on all your animation but if you have the time to render, you can still allow the computer to generate a fully accurate and realistic finished result. So there you have it. I have shared my thoughts. And I, like you probably, really believe that real-time software is going to take over our industry more and more in the near future. And Unreal Engine does it better than any software that I have ever used. I am not going to pretend like there's no learning curve to Unreal Engine. There absolutely is. But when you, when you know it, it's the best, in my opinion. Now, keep in mind, I have used all these other softwares as well, especially when I know that they will be sufficient for the specific needs of a project that I'm asked to do. Unreal Engine can absolutely be overkill sometimes for simple projects that, for example, I know won't need any kind of customization, and a simple 
standard VR export, VR walkthrough will suffice. But when I have something highly custom, something outside of the box, something that will need really advanced features for me to get it to work, something that really needs to blow someone's socks off, I know exactly where to go. So where do you turn for your real-time needs? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to know what your thoughts are. If you like this video, if you like Unreal, or if you don't like Unreal, or if you just appreciate the information, let me know by giving the video a like, and please subscribe for tons more ArcViz content that is upcoming. And if I've sold you on Unreal, check out the links below to get a discount on my full Unreal course that can make that learning curve a lot less difficult. Check it out, the price is ridiculous, and I go over the whole process of using Unreal Engine for ArcViz. Also, if I've sold you on real time in general, but you're not ready to jump into Unreal Engine and you think it might be more than what you need, well, check out the links below for courses on Lumion, Twin Motion, and really whatever you need, all things related ArcViz. They're all super cheap and, in my opinion, super effective at teaching exactly what is needed for professional ArcViz artists. There's an important place in our industry for all the software. Well, not all of it, some of it sucks. But the ones I've mentioned, Okay, so I mentioned that Unreal Engine can still be a great solution even if you only need to do simple stuff. Well, the reason is, is because Twinmotion and Unreal are both owned by Epic Games. So there's a bridge from Twinmotion to Unreal Engine. So I've demonstrated this in other videos and talked about it, but the point is if you need to start off simple, if you just have a simple solution you need for easy VR and easy real time, Twin Motion has totally got you. You can even use Mega Scan stuff in there. So it's great. But if you need to go more advanced, you don't have to start over. You can just bridge straight to Unreal Engine and start adding interactivity to your scene. So even if you're just doing something simple, you can start with Twin Motion and then still enhance it in Unreal Engine if you need to. And all that work you did in Twin Motion can translate into Unreal. So, great solution all around. Unreal Engine rocks. I'm a fan of Twin Motion too. That's it. That's all I've got. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.